So when you look at a print, look at it not simply as a picture. It's a living organism of tonalities on a piece of white paper. Now, the photographer doesn't work with sound or words, oftentimes. For most of the, for most of the time, the photographers weren't even working with color. So it was in that limited range between brilliant white down to the blackest black and every tone within that all that could be said in a print had to be contained. So those are precious notes. But even when we get to color, the same, the same applies, even though we have different colors as well as values. So start looking at your work that way as well. Start realizing that a picture of a flower or a face will never be a flower or a face. Just touch it. If you touch it, you feel it, you'll, so, well, you'll know for sure that it's not a face. What it is is a piece of paper. And what makes that piece of paper come alive? but a series of tonalities. The tonalities are your repertoire, your palette. They're precious. Whether the photograph be a literal rendition of a face or a flower or an abstraction of tonalities, does it vibrate? Does it quiver? Does it have a quietness? Is there a long silence in it? in the tonality, just in the tones alone. Start seeing it, not only emotionally in terms of subject matter, but in terms of tonality and texture and shape and compositions that are occurring within this rectangle or square. <coughs> it's a living shape within itself. <coughs> 